potential energy of a magnetic dipole in a uniform magnetic field. Okay. So when this magnetic dipole, you know, is placed in a uniform magnetic field in this way, then this magnetic dipole, right, will possesses a potential energy. Okay. So to understand about that, let me just quickly write first about what we have done before, right? So in the previous video, we have seen when this dipole is placed in a uniform magnetic field, then this dipole experiences a torque, which is given thus, m b sine theta, where m is the magnetic dipole moment, b is the magnetic field, and theta is the angle between the magnetic dipole moment and the Okay, so suppose I want to rotate this dipole through a small angle d theta. So if you rotate, right, the dipole through a small angle d theta, right, so I will write when dipole is rotated through a small angle d theta okay then i need a small work done to do that that small work done it is dw and if you remember from the formula of work done we define work is equals to force into displacement but in this case the force which you know which move the dipole it is the rotating force that means it is tau and here I rotate the dipole through a small angle d theta. So when the dipole initially it is pointing in this way, and if you rotate it by a small angle d theta, let's say it comes to this position. So when you rotate, it means you are, you know, uh, showing the angular displacement. So instead of linear displacement, now I will uh, I will replace by the angular displacement that is d theta. So this is my small work done to rotate the dipole to a small angle d theta or I can say this is equals to instead of tau I'll write m b sine theta and then d theta okay all right <clears throat> so if this is the small work done to rotate the dipole to a small angle d theta then what is my total work done to rotate the dipole let's say from theta 1 to theta 2 okay so if you want to rotate the dipole right from the positions when the dipole is you know at an angle theta 1 with respect to the field and you rotate it till it makes an angle theta 2 with respect to the field so in that case I will just integrate this above equation and when you integrate this dw you will get w and integrations of right hand side is from theta 1 to theta 2 and m b sine theta or the blue is equals to now I'll take out MB and I will integrate only sine theta d theta or the blue is equals to MB now the integrations of sine theta d theta it is minus cos theta and the limits of integration is from theta 1 to theta 2 or this W is equals to MB okay let me take this minus out with this okay then you'll have inside only cos theta and then the limit is from theta 1 to theta 2 or the blue is equals to minus mb now i will substitute the limits of integration the upper limit is theta 2 so in place of theta i'll write cos theta 2 and then i will subtract it by substituting the lower limit that is instead of theta i'll write cos theta 1 okay so this is the work done to rotate the dipole from theta 1 to theta 2. Now, let us imagine in this way that this theta 1, let's say it is equals to 0 degree, that means, sorry, let's say this theta 1 is 90 degree, that means initially, let us imagine the dipole is perpendicular to the magnetic field. And you rotate it till it becomes parallel. Or 
right? Sorry, I mean, if this is my initial positions of the dipole, so theta 1 is 90 degree. And let's say you, you want to rotate the dipole, let's say you rotate the dipole through, right, till it becomes an angle theta. So that means theta 2, my final angle, it will be theta. So in that case, the total work done to rotate the dipole in such a case would be minus mv, and then cos theta 2, it becomes cos theta, minus cos theta 1 mean cos 90 degree. You know cos 90 is 0, so this term will disappear. So this work done will become just minus mv cos theta. So this is the work done to rotate the dipole from the positions, right, which is a right angle to the field till an angle theta. Now this work done, which you are rotating the dipole, it will be stored in the dipole as a potential energy. So therefore, this potential energy of the dipole, it is written as u, it is equals to minus mv cos theta. So this is my potential energy of a magnetic dipole when placed in a uniform magnetic field. Alright. So similarly, we can draw three special cases from this equation. And case number one is when theta is equals to zero degree. If theta is zero, then u is how much? Cos zero is one. So one times minus mv will be minus mv. So because of this minus, I'll say this is minimum. Okay. Case number two is when theta equal, let's say 90 degree. So when theta is 90 degree, then if you put it here, cos 90 is 0, so 0 into anything will be 0. And the third case is when theta is equals to 180 degree. So when theta is 180 degree, then u is how much? If you put theta 180 degree, cos 180 is minus 1. So minus 1 multiplied with this minus become plus. So this is Fv only. And this is because being positive, so we say this is maximum. Alright? So we can conclude from here that when this magnetic dipole it is placed parallel to the magnetic field, then the magnetic dipole, right, it will have a minimum potential energy. So minimum potential energy means when the dipole, you know, it is held in this way, where, where you know, this is the south pole, this is the north pole. So when the dipole is held in this way, parallel to the field, then this dipole will not possess any potential energy, which means the dipole, it is in a stable equilibrium position. Okay, so for this case number one, we say the dipole is in a stable equilibrium position. And when the dipole, I mean, when the angle theta is 90 degree, it means when this dipole is held perpendicular to the magnetic field, then at that time, you know, this magnetic dipole will not possess any magnet, any potential energy because u is equals to zero. But when the dipole is 180 degree, which means when the dipole, you know, Let's say this is the south pole, this is the north pole. So from south to north, it is acting in this way. Now when the south, uh, when you held the dipole in this way, so the angle with respect to the magnetic field will be 180 degree. So it means when the dipole is anti-parallel to the magnetic field, then the potential energy which is possessed by the dipole, it will be maximum. It means that this dipole, right, has got a maximum energy when you place it in this way. So if it has energy, that means it will try to rotate. And it keeps on rotating till it becomes parallel to the field. And once it becomes parallel, then now it becomes stable. Okay. So this is like uh, in electrostatic only when we talk about, you know, when we discuss about the electric dipole in a uniform electric field. So everything is the same here. Okay. We just, you know, we just follow, right? Uh, exactly right what we have done in electrostatic.